G'day guys and welcome back to Ados the Great YouTube channel. Alrighty Roo. What crazy news we've just had about 20 minutes ago. Um, reports just broke in the Queensland um, squad. So Cameron Munster and Murray Tualangi have ruled out for game three. Put, scratch a line through their name. They are confirmed out. They um, handed in positive rat tests today. So that's not good. Um, when I first saw this, I was thinking maybe it's a it's a ploy with the media to try and um, try and get a bit of fear in New South Wales. What are Queensland going to do? There's no chance. These two are confirmed out. So before we talk about the replacements, and this is going to be a fairly quick video, um, I bought these bloke in a bar middies today. And I'll tell you what, bloody dead and Kemp, the, the people's beak, what a champion, man. These are brilliant. We're going to crack one of these open, and uh, we're going to have a swig of this before we talk about the nightmare that is the Queensland squad. So let's crack this open. I reckon we uh, just do this right here. What do you reckon? Oh, there we go. Bloody brilliant. What a beer. All right, shout out to Den and Kemp and Bloke in a Bar. Sponsor me. Come on, you know you want to. All right, now let's talk about this. Um, I've already spoken too much crap for a minute and a half. So let's, uh, let's jump straight in and talk about replacements. So, Cameron Munster, probably one of the most, uh, oh, what's the word I'm looking for, irreplaceable players? I don't know if I said the right thing there. Um, I'm just going crazy at the moment because I'm thinking, what the hell are we going to do? All right, Cameron Munster, how do we replace him? I think you've got two options, um, and I'm going to get to them in a sec. Murray Tuolangi, it's an easy straight swap. Murray Tuolangi out, Corey Yates in. AC's done the job before. He'll do it again. I'm, I've got faith in Corey Oates, and I think that's the way Billy's going to go. I have heard reports already that Oates is getting sent straight into camp. So, uh, yeah, I do think that that's how that one's going to go. For the um, half situation, DCE stays at halfback 100%, and you've got two options in my opinion. Option one, and I think this is the option they will go for, we move Harry Grant to dummy half and Ben Hunt to 5'8". I think that's the best option for Queensland. We need that experience and Ben Hunt offers that. Um, and then I think, well, it won't be in the 14 jersey unless they swap jerseys around. But coming onto the bench, I think will either be Tommy Dearden or Hammer. One of those two will slot straight into the bench as that utility role. And uh, Ben Hunt will move to 5'8". Harry Grant to dummy half. Now, if they wanted to bleed some youth and get, um, you know, Tommy Dearden to play a full game of Origin, I think the move would be to keep Ben Hunter dummy half, keep DC at halfback, move Tommy Dearden to 5'8", and, and um, that's that's pretty much it. But I don't think that's the way Billy's going to do it. I think he's going to keep the experience. Ben Hunt will move to 5'8", Harry Grant to dummy half, and uh, probably Tommy Dearden to come onto the bench. Let me know what you guys think in the comments below. I'm going to have another swig of this. And uh, yeah, we're going to end the video there, guys. Let me know what you guys think, though. I'd love to hear from you. Drop it in the comments. Thanks, guys.